I want to tell you about AU Lab. AU Lab is a digital audio workstation provided freely by Apple. Now, AU Lab is fully functional. It still works as it did when they first introduced it, but um, it's lost uh, the ability to request uh, use of the microphone. And so what that means is you can no longer EQ music or movies live as you're playing them. And um, I have uh, for years searched the internet forums looking for an answer. No one seems to have found uh, a straightforward answer or solution to that. But um, I have found a workaround which I would like to show you. As I said, uh, you laugh still works for all other purposes. It's just that it has lost its ability to request permission to use your microphone. Now, if we go to the website, to Apple's website, this is the site where Apple provides uh, testing tools for um, audio engineers to test their uh, music before they upload it uh, to Apple Music. If you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you will find the link to AU Lab. Let's click on the link. It asks us um, where to save. We're going to save it into the downloads folder. So there it is, that's done. Here it is, it's a zip file. Let's double click the zip file to uncompress it. Here's the um, actual app, AU Lab. Now, if we just double click the app, it's going to launch normally and it will function as it's supposed to, but uh, it will not have access, as I said, to the microphone. Now, let's just do a test. Let's first go to the sound preferences section and let's make sure that uh, we have configured our inputs and outputs right. The input here, in my case, I'm using, I'm using a black hole as my virtual channel. You might as well be using um, Soundflower or Dante Via. Uh, whatever the case may be, just choose um, your virtual channel as the input and the same virtual channel as the output. And to make sure that the input can actually receive an audio signal, we can just play some music in iTunes. There. Let me uh, crank up the volume uh, just so that it's clear that uh, uh, the input is actually receiving. So, okay, that's working. Let's lower it down a little bit. So, if we now launch AU Lab in the typical manner, which is by double clicking the app, the app, uh, it, well, it's giving you the warning that it's a file downloaded from the internet, but, can, but we can fully trust the source. So let's open it. The document opens for you to configure your, your input and output. The uh, input, as it should, is a black hole. And the output, I can select the topping D50S DAC, which is connected in between my computer and my speaker. So that's the output. I'm going to create the document, but you see, although we can see the input is receiving a signal here, uh, AU Lab is not. And this is because uh, AU Lab has not requested permission to use the microphone. Now, the workaround, let me close this there. And uh, the workaround is that. Um, you can launch AU Lab through Terminal. And so Terminal and not AU Lab will request permission to use the microphone. Now, because I have done that in the past, let's see in my security and privacy settings. If I go to the microphone section, I have already allowed Terminal to have access to the microphone. Now, Terminal is using the microphone on behalf of AU Lab in this case. Let me show you how that works. So let's go back to 
the AU Lab app. Now, instead of double clicking the app as you would normally do, you do a two finger tap to show the contextual menu. And in it, you have the option of showing the package contents, which is what we want. Let's click there, and then you can see the uh, contents folder. Double click it, and you can see the Mac OS folder. Double click that folder, and you can see now the AU Lab executable file. Now, when you click, when you open, when you double click this file, what's going to happen is Terminal will launch first, and immediately after, Terminal will launch AU Lab. Let's do that right now. So here's Terminal, and here's AU Lab. Now, you can see that the input is still black hole. The output, we can set to any of these. Scarlett Solo is the device I'm using for the recording of my voice, so I'm not going to use that. It would just disrupt the recording. So my DAC, the Topping D50S, is here. That's what I'm going to choose as the output that is connected to my uh, loudspeakers. And I can create the document now. And you can see now that it's receiving a signal. And um, I'm going to lower the volume just uh, to avoid any uh, legal suits uh, regarding intellectual property rights violations. But you can clearly see that when you follow that process, um, you can actually use EU Lab in the intended uh, manner. Now, I'm going to uh, lower the volume for my DAC, uh, the D50S. I'm going to lower it all the way down. And I want to show you uh, the levels uh, in full. Let's go back to the sound preferences panel and make sure that we have the input receiving the signal, um, selecting Black Hole or Soundflower or Dante Via. And the output again should be the same as the input. And uh, so we have a signal and AU Lab has a signal, and which means that now you can add any effects or any sound processing within AU Lab to that live signal. Let's choose the graphic EQ. There's the graphic EQ, it's been added. Now let's edit it. Here's the EQ. Now you can select any frequencies uh, that you want and you can either boost or cut and do anything you want to the signal and you will see, you will hear the results uh, live as you are playing your uh, source of audio signal. And that's it. So AU Lab is again working beautifully just as it did in the past. Now I am using, uh, this is a um, MacBook Pro 15 inch from 2019. And I'm using the latest version, not the latest, I'm sorry, but I'm using Monterrey, uh, Mac OS Monterrey. And it works well. Now, what's interesting is I tried this same trick in my Mac Mini. And although it works, it opens up, it, you can see the signal very quickly. You start hearing uh, clicks and pops. And the sound gets very dirty very rapidly. I am not sure whether that's because my Mac Mini is old. It's a 2014 model, but it's still running Mac OS Monterey, the latest version actually of Mac OS Monterey. Uh, but there you have it. Try it on your computer and see if it works. Uh, let me show you again the process. I'm going to quit this. Don't save. I also need to quit uh, terminal. We need to close it. Quit. Um, okay. So let's go back to the downloads folder, where, which is where I uh, put uh, EU Lab. So again, do a two finger tap to show the contextual menu then choose Show Package Contents, then click on Contents, then click on Mac OS, and then double click the AU Lab executable file. Terminal opens and launches AU Lab. 
you can choose your input and you can choose your output and then create your document and there you see it it's uh, fully functional it should work for you that's it